Good evening folks, how are you? I hope that I find you very well and you're all managing and coping in what are obviously very uncertain times at the moment but thank you very much for popping over just to spend the next 10 minutes or so with me and I'll show you what I made for the family meals this week so yeah thank you all once again. But if you're new and this is the first video of mine you've landed on, welcome to you as well. My name's Cheryl, the channel is called What's For Tea, basically because this is the part of the week where I show you what I made for tea for the family during the week. We're a family of four, but sometimes it's just me and the other half that's here. We call it tea, you might call it dinner, but it is the main meal of the day. But just before I move on, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon and to the new YouTube channel members. So thank you once again, guys. I like to start on Monday all the way through till today, which is Sunday. And if you do like these kinds of videos, why not consider subscribing just before you leave? We are coming to you from the wonderful west coast of Scotland. Like I said, we're a family of four and it's, we've got two girls and it's me and Mr. What's For Tea, who is my other half. I have got a couple of giveaways going on at the moment. I've got the Degusta Box Advent Calendar and I've also got the £200 Christmas Cash Giveaway. So why not get involved in that as well? So starting off on Monday, I made a simple pasta bake. Now, for the sauce, I just fried off in some olive oil, some garlic and onions. I added in a jar of red pesto sauce, two cans of chopped tomatoes with some more garlic, some garlic powder, some tomato puree, garlic puree, and added some cooked penny, and then just combined the whole thing. And then to that, I added some shaved parmesan and some parsley and some garlic bread on the side. A really, really simple one, but you know, it's absolutely delicious. And I just pop this into the oven in a casserole dish for about half an hour, just to sort of let everything soak into the pasta and oh, it's just wonderful. I'm moving on to Tuesday and I just made a very simple chicken curry. I used for this one the Mayflower curry base, which I know a lot of you are familiar with and it's just amazing. It tastes so much like, you know, what you're used to from the takeaway or the Chinese takeaway. And we just had ours with some boiled rice and some chips as well. And I think chips and curry sauce are a match made in heaven. Moving on to Wednesday and it was just me and Mr Watts for tea and he had a jacket potato with butter, a wee individual steak and gravy pie with some peas and some extra gravy over the top. I just had a very simple jacket potato with cheese so I haven't shown you that but you'll have seen this wee pie in my shopping haul which is coming up a wee, in a wee second and he thoroughly enjoyed this so if you are an Asda shopper and you do like yourself a wee pie he would thoroughly rec or highly recommend this one. I think that's the you know it's the first time he's actually tried this one and he said it tasted almost as good as homemade so there you go. Moving on to Thursday and we had bangers and mash. These were the Richmond Meat Free bangers and I actually had some of these in the freezer and some that you'd have seen in my shopping haul. So I just made these. I made some mashed potato with some parsley mashed through. These are the wee bangers and we had uh, baked beans, of course, as you'll know. We're a big fan of baked beans with mashed potato. And in fact, we all, apart from one of us, we all really enjoy these. And this is them here. You know, they are wonderful. You can get them in packs of 16, but they are quite hard to find. Moving on to Friday, and you'll see this most weeks. This is a big, big favourite with us, and it's becoming a favourite with you guys as well. So many of you have tried this. I'll leave the video recipe underneath, you know, if you want to go and check it out. It's ultra simple, so easy to make, but you know what? The flavours just work so well. And this, you know, you've got beef and you've got pasta, onions, cheese, tomatoes. Oh, it's just wonderful. Moving on to yesterday and I made sausage casserole. So yeah, sausages again. But this was the Coleman's mix you'll have seen in my shopping haul. And it's just a, a really thick gravy with onions and carrots. That's the sausages. Those are pork sausages from the butcher with some green beans on the side. And this was the mix here. Like I said, you'll have seen in my shopping haul. 85p and well worth every penny. Then moving on to today and we had chicken and we had some roast potatoes and I have got a recipe coming up for roast potatoes because so many of you have asked for it so I'm going to make that one of the festive recipe ideas. 
and I served that with some carrot batons and some tender stem broccoli. That's the chicken there with a wee stuffing bowl and some gravy over the top. And this is lovely, you know, it's just one of those things. It's a classic for a good reason. I mean, who doesn't like chicken and roast tatties? So that was our meals for this week. So thank you very much for stopping by if you're leaving at this point. You know, it was lovely to see you. And if you're not subscribed, why not consider subscribing just before you leave? You know, I do meals of the week and a wee cheeky recipe during the week and then shopping hauls and snack box unboxings, that kind of thing. So it would be lovely to see you back again. If for everybody else staying on, this is just a very small selection of your comments from my videos from during the week. You know, I would love to respond to each and every one of you you know, personally, but there are just so many of them now, I just can't. There's not enough hours in the day, but let's go and have a wee look at some of them and see what some of you were saying. Your first comment this week was from Leslie Urban G. I love those baked potatoes and they are really handy for a quick lunch as well as a main meal. Thanks for sharing, Cheryl. Well, you're very welcome, Leslie, and I completely agree. You know, I love baked potatoes done in the oven, but they can take, you know, an hour plus. And if you don't have a great deal of time, I find these, you know, they're just so quick and handy and they're always wonderfully tasty and fluffy inside. Next comment is from Margaret McCulloch. Dearest Cheryl, hello from America. Well, hello, Margaret. <laughs> May I ask, do you create a menu before you go shopping for the week or do you just buy ingredients and come up with the menu after? Do you shop for your groceries using advertisements or sales? Thank you, MM. Well, what I do is, Margaret, I actually write a wee list for Monday to Sunday and then I'll just write down the meals that I'm going to make and then see what I've got there and I'll just buy things that I need, you know, to make up the meals that I want, you know, and obviously over and above that you've got things like toothpaste or laundry detergent or cat food, things that you buy weekly, you know, anyway. So yeah, I always write a list of our meal plan for the week and, you know, shop based around that. So thank you very much for your comment. Your next comment is from Arnie Jones. She's saying, I say the same about bran flakes, like eating cardboard. And yeah, she's referring to a comment that I made in my shopping haul. And yeah, I just don't like bran flakes. So I'm glad you agree. Your next comment is from the family Seesaw. So hi, Karen. Karen is actually, you know, a channel that I follow and she does very similar to, vid you know, videos that I do. She's written, oh my goodness, I really didn't need to see how simple this is lol that's another stone gained by christmas and yeah it's absolutely simple completely foolproof you know if you do like this kind of thing i really do hope you give it a go because yeah it's so simple lovely to see you my last comment this week was from elizabeth mcdonald pratt Terry's also make a mint flavoured orange. I think that I think I would use that. See, I didn't know about that. And you know, had I would have, you know, if I would have known, I would have looked out for that because I much prefer the flavour of mint chocolate. Although we do like orange chocolate, but you know, I've never seen the Terry's mint orange, but I'll certainly be looking out for that because I will be making that fudge again because it's just so easy, you know, and it lasts for days and everybody loves it and it's just so delicious and better, like I said in the video than any sort of fudge that I bought from the shop. So highly recommended you do try that video if you do like a nice fudgy treat. So that was my video from this week. A wee look at our meals and obviously your comments. Like I said, I would love to respond to each and every one of you individually, but there just isn't enough time. There, there's nearly, what, 80,000 of you now, which is absolutely insane to me. It completely blows my mind. That's just over three years that I started uploading videos to YouTube and I've loved every single minute of it. You know, it's such a nice journey and it's even nicer that there are so many of you on board watching and liking and sharing and subscribing. You know, it's just so touching <laughs> that you are out there liking what I'm doing. So until I see you next time, guys, you mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you back here on What's For Tea off a of soon. So bye for now. Bye now.